Hey guys, what is up? Fly here. Welcome back to the cast. Today we are checking out a new game that has come out for PC called Project High Rise. And it kind of reminds me of a mobile game called Tiny Towers. You know, the guys who make pocket planes, kind of in that sense where you start out with a really small building, you start adding more um, space and commodities to fulfill people's needs, and the tower grows and Bottom line is very addicting on the mobile or the mobile platform. So we're gonna see how good this PC version is now They I don't think they're related at all in terms of companies, but uh, it's kind of the same game premise Okay, so I just finished the tutorials. We're gonna go ahead and try a scenario I think new game is just like a uh, sandbox build so we're gonna try scenario because that will give us uh, a little bit of storyline to follow while we we'll, while we play. Okay, so scenarios, neighborhood uh, revital. Oh my gosh, revitalization. Is that how he's God? That's a mouthful. Revitalization. Okay, so difficulty easy. Let's read a little bit about it. This area of town has seen better days, and if those in power have their way, it will see those better days again soon. This building was once a jewel in the city architectural pantheon. Its lobby retains a vestige of those bygone glories with a stunning lobby mural pr protected by the city's landmark commission. Your task is to revive this building to its former splendor. The landmark commission will arrange for subsidies for floor and infrastructure construction. A lot of words. Let's try it out. All right, so here we go. Scenario goals, revenue recovery. We need to earn $25,000 or more in a day. Holy crap. Um, a, a neighborhood recovery, achieve the city's goal of revitalizing this neighborhood by having a building population of at least 250. Uh, new landmarks, add your own contribution to the building's already significant artistic trust with a new fountain, either inside or outside. Okay, so welcome to the game. We just got thrown in here. So from doing the tutorial, I know something right now that we have to do. We got to put all of our systems in one line to make the building more streamlined. That's going to be like the systems are the utilities. So the electricity, the phone, the cable, the water, the gas, just to make everything nice and easy to expand. So right now, what we're going to do is we're going to demolish one side of the building. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here. And then uh, we'll just start building everything down or up. And so it's how it works is that as you build um, new new tenant areas, new offices, they need uh, power, phone, TV, gas, water, just the commodities of living in a skyscraper or a building. So right now our builders are cleaning up our, you know, demolished rooms. Uh, we have, oh, Steven, hey, that's my name. And we have Sherry. So they're almost done with that. And then after they're done with that, we can uh, build our utilities up and make everything nice and streamlined. Come on, girl and boy. Okay, they're almost done here. God, we lost a lot of money. Fucking hell. Hang on. Almost done. Okay, there we go. Let's start with the utilities. So here is everything current right now with the power. I wonder what, what, what does this thing do? Something has displeased one of your tenants. Oh, I'm not really too worried about that right now. Uh, adds 50 electric <laughs> electrical connections to your building. Okay, I don't really know what that means yet, but we're going to just delete all this right here. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Just relax, relax. Okay. Now let's build wire wiring closet so the electricity, phone, and TV fit in one. Up we go. Okay, now let's build the water closets. So this is water and gas. Uh-oh, what happened there? Space is already occupied? By what? A, a, a lovely wall scone? What the fuck is this? Uh-oh, I just fucking deleted some of the building there. Do you see that? Ah, okay, so let's rebuild that part of the building. Okay, sorry about that. And then let's put our gas and water line up, right? All right, perfect. Okay, and then, um, so that was gas, phone, electricity. Now I wonder what those other things mean, like the transformers. I'll just add 10 electrical connections to your building, but uh, they kind of just throw you in this really quickly. Okay, so 
The electricity should be working. They don't have any power though. Not enough electrical transformers in buildings. Okay, so let's build some more electrical transformers, right? So this is add this adds 50. We'll put that down here. Okay, and everyone looks better from not having power. Um, what is what do they say? Not enough phone switches. Okay, so we still use phone switches, so let's get some phone switches. Let's build this right here. Actually, let's put it over here. Because the phone line's fine here. Okay. Everyone's fine. Okay, now, do you guys need water? Don't you guys need to go to the bathroom and such? We'll just go ahead and do it before they really even complain. Okay, horizontal lines. Okay. Now, we only earn 200. What is so wrong, guys? Okay. They're, they're, oh, no, they just left. God dang it. Um, we don't have that much rent right now. We only have 440 a day. So to create rent, what we're going to have to do is we're going to need to build another floor and create some um, apartments and flats, if you will. Okay, and now to get up there, we need an elevator shaft. This game is so fucking relaxing. Sorry to drop the F-bomb, I really do. Really do apologize. We should keep this uh, YouTube friendly. Just kidding, assholes. Alright, Steven, Steven and Cheryl are trying to clean up the mess from the people who just left. And now they're starting to construct the top floor. It's really not that expensive to build up. I mean, because in, in New York, I mean, that's kind of the way it is. It's really expensive to build horizontal, but not that expensive to build vertical. And that's why there's a lot of skyscrapers there. Uh, because vertical land is very, very expensive. No, excuse me. <laughs> Let's just keep it at land values are very expensive, so they build up, so they stay in the same land value. Okay, so they're building the top floor. Now let's go ahead and see if we can put um, a tenant in there. Okay, so we can build a small one bedroom. Beautiful. You just a lot a lot of Kate in empty apartment space pick how you would like to decorate it okay yeah sure first first I just want people to move in here and then we'll uh -oh, what's happening uh oh it doesn't look like we can build a um one bedroom apartment we need a greater variety of small stores need a greater variety of s stores that sell food and groceries I don't think we're there yet so let's just go ahead and delete that and then we'll just build these small studio apartments. All right, yeah, there we go. Okay. And deluxe. Need a greater variety of cafes. So I guess we gotta just... Someone else just left. That's what that sound effect means. So why are you guys unhappy? Oh, an elevator just busted. Probably that's why they're not happy. They're not getting any gosh darn customers. Um, rent is too high. We did not turn a profit yesterday. That sucks. So why are they not turning a profit? Oh, look at all these people coming in. Holy crap. Hopefully these people come to your uh, building here. Let's see if they want to come in here and uh, shop at the sausage shop. My fucking Atlanta. Oh, we got people going in here to the flower shop. They're just mad because they're not turning a profit because their rent is uh, 250 or 210 a day. And they only made $31. It's not a really good place to... S well, not a good reason to stay in here. Okay, uh, where did our... Uh, so right when someone leaves, they have to leave right away and um, clean up their stuff. Let's speed it up here. There we go. You guys are getting... Look at how many people are coming in here. You guys are fine. Stop. Uh-oh. What, what's happening down here? Can I click on this place? Okay, what's happening? Oh, they don't have an electrical line. This is office supplies, so we definitely need that for the offices above. See, these are all the little small office buildings. So let's build an electrical line. Okay, it's not connected. There we go. Fuck yeah. Okay, let's off-click that. Now, Steven and Cheryl are almost done. Where is she going? Up. Oh, look. She's going to lunch. Look at that. That's pretty, that's pretty fucking cool. Time for a quick lunch break. I love, I love micro just... Silly or just things that kind of make it more realistic. I like that a lot. 
Okay, they've cleaned out another office. Luckily, everyone is starting to become a little more happy. As you can see right now, we have on the lower level, we have all the people that work in the building. The mid, or like this is the lobby level. We got some nice artwork. Then we have our utility corridor here. And then we have our small shops, restaurants, and uh, re retail, and then office space. And then hopefully up here, we'll be able to have some people that actually live in the building and pay rent. So what's going on here? We can't function without water. Oh yeah, we haven't expanded up here yet. Okay, we gotta wait for the building to be fully built to uh, raise our electrical phone, TV, gas, and water up one more level. Steven and Cheryl are almost done with this though. Uh, what's wrong with you? This unit is getting worn down. Okay, so in the in the ugh, in the tutorial, they showed us how to clean everything. It's just kind of expensive. Hopefully, they don't move out yet. And good, they just finished. So let's put a electrical line, phone cable, and then the water and gas, and expand those left and right. And the electrical. And maybe they might need, they, they might need, okay, the water's good. We'll just put gas up here as well. And then we, we don't really need, we're gonna wait until they tell us that they wanna want that stuff. Not enough water meters in the building. Okay, we gotta add water meters. What do water meters do? They just measure the water? Okay, well here's a water meter. I guess that... Oh, that makes sense. That's That allows them to track how much water they use and so they can pay the utility company the money. Now, why are you so unhappy? Okay, good. They're, they're improving though. Oh my god, we lost $10,000 yesterday. Dude, guys, I think we're about to fucking lose this. Uh, let's get some more tenants in here. Uh, here you go. Move in, everybody. We, we, we need the rent money. Just move in. Um, there you go. Okay, now why are you still unhappy? Nothing's wrong. Okay, they're still moving up. They're still moving up. It's nighttime, so nothing can really happen right now. Steven and Cheryl just don't sleep. Look how fast that hammer- is she fucking buffing? Look at Cheryl go to work. Yeah, girl. And Steven's jackhammering the wall. Well done, boys and girls. Okay, speed that up. Now, what's wrong with you? You didn't... Okay, yeah. Just give it another day. I just got in the building. I'm trying to revitalize everything. Just stay in here, White Orchid... Orchard... Or... Orchard? There we go. White Orchid Flower Shop. Or it's Or... I don't fucking know. Reading is not one of my strong suits, but... All we know is that they sell flowers. Okay, so we have two apartments, little small studios that are ready for move-in. A simple home for one person, satisfaction. All right, so we're waiting for someone to feel the need to move in here. So we can't hire people to live in here. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, someone looks like they moved in here. Yeah, welcome to the building, dude. Oh, he just went right fucking to sleep. Johnny, time to go home. So he just went to work, it looks like. Now, what's what I've noticed is that no one's really here in the building right now because it's four in the morning. So hopefully, maybe around six o'clock or seven, maybe. Uh oh, someone's coming to work. Oh no, no, it's someone living in the apartment up top. Okay, but hopefully, like we get like morning rushes, afternoon, you know, lunch breaks, and then like evening uh, rushes home. I really hope so. Uh oh, what's happening down here? Uh, we've got more service calls yesterday than we could fulfill. You need more service centers this type. Okay, so what is this? A courier. What are you doing? Okay, so someone's coming to work. Look at that's fucking cool. We got a bus stop where worker res where workers, residents, and visitors all light the bus. So I think there's some typos in this game. Or maybe maybe it's just my reading skill. Okay, good. So we got another tenant in here. But even though this costs 240 or 140 daily rent, we're still not positive. Um, so let's add more businesses. We'll do some small retail. Let's put this retail over here. No, it won't fit. Won't fit there either. 
There's, there's so much more room that we could fit in here. Let's try a cafe. Small restaurant. Beautiful. Alright, good. We got two right there. And then I think for the time being, we'll just... Um, put a, a shopping place here. Even though it takes up a lot of room, it should be good to go. Okay, so let's see who wants to move in here. Food court restaurants. Cafes. Now, what is this right here? This is, this is Suzanne's Wraps. Skyline Bagels. Okay, cool. So they're... Uh, Steven and Cheryl are going to go ahead and build that. Um, so a food and beverage store, portable electronics, book, news, and magazine. I think we... What is this right here? Okay, we already have a magazine store, so we don't want to cut business away from there. We got downtown wine and spirits, so we don't... We already have beer and that kind of stuff. Drug stores. 230. Ooh, electronics. Eastern Mobile. 250. Yeah, we'll get them in here ASAP. And then let's put... Um, Ooh, homemade Evanston burritos. Pays in rent 95. That's not that much. But I really like Evanston because that's where my dad lives in uh, Illinois. Or on the border between Evanston and Chicago. We gotta go where the money is. Cafe Budapest. Alright, so hopefully Cheryl and Steven can uh, build these buildings before the, the big day starts. Now who is this? What floor is she going to? I guess she just fucking disappeared. Maybe this is her up here? I had some delicious breakfast. So there we go. We have a... We have Peggy who lives in the studio apartment. Looks like she's just kind of exploring the building that she just moved into. Works at Courier. Okay, it's lunchtime. It's, it's not. It's not fucking lunchtime, dude. Yeah. Maybe maybe they worked all night and their uh, internal clocks is off. Okay, let's fast forward. Now everyone should be coming in, and there's the morning rush. Oh, I fucking love that. Everyone's coming to work in their office space. Look at that. That is cool. So this number. So we have 42 tenants in here now. Uh, this number down here is how many visitors from the surrounding city has come into our building to eat and to shop. Now, I don't know if you guys saw that right there, but we got one buzz. One buzz means a buzz is generated by popular retail stores, restaurants, and some offices. You're, you currently have 15 buzz. Once you reach 50 buzz, you'll be able to spend it on media uh, campaign. So pretty much buzz is like word of mouth. Someone tells somebody. Uh, and then, uh, if it gets enough popularity, then the media will come out and cover it, or we can just start a media campaign. Now, what's happening here? No water hookup? What the hell? Yeah, we definitely need some water and power. How do you guys function without water? Okay, yeah, they, they have power, thank gosh. Okay, everyone's shopping, everyone looks happy. Why is no one in here? Now, what is this? So this is artwork, and I think artwork attracts people from the outside to come in the building, and maybe they might get hungry while they're looking at the artwork, and then they'll go shopping in our stores. Now, everyone seems a lot happier right now. This guy has already earned $55, and it's just lunchtime. Now, a flower store probably really isn't the best idea for being inside a skyscraper, but we won't tell him that because he's still paying rent. Um, now, we have all our office buildings up here. I wish I could get some coffee. Huh. So, let's see if we can get him some coffee here, boys. Space is already occupied? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanna... Okay, there we go. Cafe. Mm, no, we don't have any... Yeah, I can't build any coffee right now. Whoa, lunchtime uh, frenzy here. Let's see where all these guys are going. They're going into the phone store. Oh, no, no, they're getting alcohol! So it looks like we're doing okay right now. Now we, I think we need to build one more courier. Now how do I building services? Uh, courier service. There we go. Yeah, it looks like we might have to upgrade the bottom of our, or just maybe redesign it a little bit to where we can fit some more space in. Because as you can see right here, um, construction office. If we you know move these. Over to the left, we'll have a lot more room in the center. So let's try that real quick. Construction office. Now, how do I build another construction office? Huh. 
Huh, I don't see. Helicopter charters? Holy shit, that's cool. Uh, they got handyman. Now, what if I can't delete this? You can't fire your construction workers. You know what unions are, don't you? So we can't even move this guy. No, okay, so that kind of sucks. Um, now, this is a point where we could... Oh, we, we, we don't have enough fucking money for this. We, get, we gotta go positive. And to go positive, we need more rent, but... I don't know. Everyone's making so much cash. I guess we'll build another cafe. Why not? Don't we already have a burrito store? No, that's Cafe Budapest. What if we build... I think the big money is re retail stores. This is a big, big one. But we don't have any space for it. We got enough for right here. Oh, no, no. Th this is an apartment. My bad, guys. We need to go to the retail. Not enough room. Not enough room. Because that's one re retail store up there. And we just built one. Uh, the Eastern... Eastern Mobile that pays 250 in daily rent. I think we're going to have to expand. Building staff. Trash? Storerooms? Holy crap. Do we have to build a... Um, build trash and recycling bins on each floor in collection rooms in, in the basement. So this is trash and recycling. We can put recycling on that side and maybe... So this is trash. And then here is recycling. But it costs $50 a day and I, and I don't have that kind of money to do this yet. I think we'll wait until people start complaining. But right now we gotta build another floor. We need more tenants in here to pay more rent. Now, we'll build two more floors here. And then we'll put shopping here. Shopping in like, um, um, food. And then we'll build apartments up here. So let's build an elevator so the workers can get there. Let's expand our electrical services and water and gas. Sweet. Okay, looks like this. Electricity. And phone for right now. And that was just on one floor, right? Yep, only one floor. Water. And phone. Beautiful. All right, guys, so I'm going to end the episode here. I uh, hope you have enjoyed uh, this gameplay. If you guys want to see more, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, but, guys, have a great day, and until next time, peace out.